I could just be gun with Jesus. And now we're the ones that are supposed to go out there and bring the message. And we're the ones that are supposed to usher in the presence of God because the church is going to continue to grow. You know, God is calling us to make disciples to also impact the next generation that there could always be a dwelling place where people could come. And you know what? And it's even not really... It's, it's really not even us that's doing no, it. No, it's, it's not. Jesus that's exactly. doing it. And he's right. Can I talk about that? You know, I feel yeah. like we need to really take the load off of ourselves because the Bible says that his burden is easy and his yoke is light. So as long as you show up, you're faithful, you show up and you teach the word of God and you get into the word. The Holy Spirit will do the work. Amen. You know, it's just us being faithful and yes. also the church showing up. You know, Come that's on. how we're going to get in a compacted together yes. by the Word of God. The Word yes. is the glue that keeps us together. You know, I hear a lot of people saying they hear from the Lord and, you know, they hear, you know, God speaking to them. But in reality, God speaks through His Word. Amen. Yes. If, if they're hearing a voice, and that voice does not line up with the word of God, then it's not God. God will never go against his word. He's never going to say, um, yeah, commit adultery. But then at the same time, his, you know, you hear a voice telling you to commit adultery, but yet the word of God says that that's forbidden. That's an yeah. abomination. Yeah. Then, you know, you know, are, are you really hearing from the voice of God? That's why we need to be at church. We need to be at a good Bible teaching church, that which all truth church is a good Bible yeah. teaching church. We teach the word of God and God will confirm. He'll heal us. He'll deliver us. He'll encourage us. He'll speak to us and he'll build us up to that holy, holy um, uh, people that God is calling out of darkness into his marvelous light, into the next level, yes. into him. And we gotta remember <clears throat> how um, dependent that we need to be on God's word. Yes. You know, because Jesus described his word as food mm -hmm. for the spirit. Mm -hmm. And and we need to understand that this is what's gonna keep our spirit strong. Mm -hmm. The day that we stop eating from the word of God is the day that we're going to start getting weaker mm -hmm. and weaker. Mm -hmm. And I mean, some people die oh, because yeah. they, they go without the word and now they're listening to other spirits. Yeah. You know, they're they're going off their imagination. Seducing spirits. Right, like what you, were, what you were saying, like that mm -hmm. compromise comes in. Mm -hmm. But if you're in your word, the word of God is going to check you. The yeah. word of God, and not just check you, but the word of God empowers you because yes. God won't give you anything you can't handle. You know, sometimes you feel like, so overwhelmed like god can i really do this but when you really get into his word the word itself is full of the spirit and it empowers you and it strengthens you to walk worthy of the vocation and it's only through the power of god that we could do this you know exactly and so many times in our lives we've opened up the word and we maybe we've been through an attack in that season and as we open up the word the power of the word puts us on check yes has put us on check but not only put us put us put the devil on check and has there destroyed all the power of the enemy all the through of the one enemy. sentence that god speaks in his word mm, and it's like word, god knows by the spirit when he, you know he's anointed mm. you to speak that word mm. and the devil and hell knows that it must bow down and obey the word of god because he is supreme he is the creator amen he created yes. all things so you know the word of god is so powerful it's our sword it yes. literally is our sword yes. it literally king david said it you are my shield in the yes. battle he's literally our shield from the enemy you know and when he says that no weapon formed against us will prosper he means that Yes. You know, he means that. So, you know, we need to, you know, be in his word every day, especially this new year, you know, make a commitment to be in the word of God every day. Just like we eat, we cannot. Um, and if we don't eat food, we're going to die. Right. Yes. If, like you said, if we don't eat the word of God, we're going to die spiritually. And isn't that more important? Because when we go to heaven, it's our spirit that's going to be with the Lord. So we might as well start 
you know, feeding ourselves and getting healthy and getting um, strong and getting those muscles and getting that power from the Word of Tell God. Tell me about it, man. And, you know, it's so awesome to just uh, live in His Word. Amen. You know, you have so much joy. Matter of fact, you know, let me just read the scripture here talking about the power of God's Word. It says, for the Word, for the Word of God is quick. Another version says it is living. For the word of God is living. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of thoughts and intents of the heart. Wow. Hallelujah. Wow. And I believe that we need to get back into God's word you know the, the people of God if you're looking for God's will it's in his word amen amen if you're looking for a prophecy it's in his word yeah. you know we got to go to the source you know what I mean if if you're looking for uh, a, rev- a revelation from God it's in the word if you're looking